Okay, we're getting into mole conversions. In, in these questions in chemistry, you want to, um, the first thing you want to ask yourself is, do you know how many moles there are? Did the question give you the number of moles? If the answer is yes, great. If the answer is no, from now on, you need to find moles first. That is the key. If you don't know how many moles you have, you need to find them. What is a mole? Well, a mole is a mathematical way of representing a very huge number. A mole is equal to uh, this huge number. Um, and I'm going to ask if you, if you have a scrap sheet of paper, do what I've done here, draw three triangles. Uh, and these, these triangles will help you with all of your calculations dealing with moles. Okay. Um, so the first thing here, let me just get rid of that stuff. What is a mole? It was a scientist named Avogadro, and Avogadro found that a mole of substance uh, can, contains exactly 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. Per mole. Okay. This is what's known as Avogadro's number. So we can use Avogadro's number uh, if we want to know uh, the number of atoms, or the number of molecules. Okay, so I'm writing number of molecules here and moles here. So if you have a question that where you're given the number of mole molecules and asks you how many moles is that, well, you can calculate it. These triangles here, what they represent, just to go over that, uh, is this line here means divided by, and the vertical line means multiply, and that's true for the other triangles as well. There's another relationship here that involves moles. And in all three triangles are going to draw moles in the same place. Moles and moles. The other one is grams. Uh, if you're given the mass of a substance in grams, you can find moles by dividing that mass by the molecular mass. And in the previous video showed how to calculate uh, molecular or molar mass by adding up the atomic masses of each atom type in the compound. Okay. So again, if you know the mass in grams of a substance, you can divide by the molecular mass to find moles. The other way around, if you know moles and the molecular mass, you can work your way back to finding the mass in grams. And then this line, this vertical line here means multiply, and this horizontal line means divide. Okay. There's another relationship, uh, relationship between volume. If you're given the volume in liters of a gas uh, or any substance in gas form, uh, this there's another relationship. Any gas, it doesn't matter what kind of gas, could be oxygen, nitrogen, whatever, uh, occupies at standard temperature and pressure. Standard temperature and pressure. And the, and the textbook is going to abbreviate that to STP. Standard temperature and pressure. If you take the volume of the gas, and you divide it by 22.4, you'll find the number of moles. Another way of saying that is that one mole of any gas occupies exactly 22.4 liters. Okay. So volume divided by, well that might mean divided by volume of the gas divided by 22.4 will give you moles. Or, conversely, moles 
multiplied by 22.4 will give you your volume of a gas. I'm going to stop this video here uh, and we'll do some examples in the next one.